Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> Babe, do you look beautiful? <laughs> you really do. Oh. <laughs> Christopher, happy wedding day. It's finally here. So much planning, blood, sweat, and a lot of tears have gone into today. We made it. I cannot wait to make this thing official. So often I look around and cannot believe how lucky I am. You're my best friend, my biggest supporter, my favorite person to eat Chinese takeout with, and the love of my life. Thank you for being my best friend and the best person I know. I love you forever. I can't wait to see you later. Love, Kate. dreamed of having a daughter I always thought oh I hope she's pretty and kind and compassionate and that we're friends but we make it through the teenage years without killing each other and we're still talking but Kate from the very beginning you were my angel as a parent you want your child to succeed in life but one of the most satisfying things to ever see is having your child find true love and happiness with someone and she has absolutely found that with Chris. Dear Kate, I write this the happiest man on planet earth. Without you I don't know what I have. Without you I lack poise, personality, character and all that makes life worth living. Without a doubt, you're the best thing to ever touch my life. You're my life. I love you. Love, Chris. It's been really rare to see two people grow together in this adult way as we've progressed through our mid-20s. And I think you're coming together with your own experiences and beliefs and worldviews, and you're making each other better, and you're compromising Kate, you're learning that you need to go to more LSU football games and like care about the score. Um, Chris, you're learning that you need to take a lot of group photos of uh, Kate and her various groups of friends. When I met you at 23, I had no aspirations of meeting a girl, no dreams of, of settling down or anything like that. But immediately, I was struck by you. You're brilliant. You're funny, you're stunning, you're an absolute catch. And that night we met, you actually cracked a smile at my jokes. <laughs> and with that smile, the night we met, you had me. Christopher Birkeland Dempsey. So often I think of how far we've come since meeting in that dark, dingy college <laughs> bar three and a half years ago. So much has changed since then. You came crashing into my life at such a pivotal time for both of us. Looking back, I don't really know what exactly made me decide it was a good idea to go on a cross-country road trip with someone I had only known for two months, especially considering it was in an LSU-themed Jeep Wrangler without working AC. <laughs> I would always call Chris when I had a long car ride, and we would always catch up. One time, I called Chris on one of these long car rides, and we proceeded to talk for over an hour about this girl that he was interested in, about this girl that he was madly in love with, and how he was going to spend the rest of his life with this girl. Almost immediately, we dedicated ourselves to each other, making long-term commitments for each other, trusting each other and sacrificing for each other. Somehow, through all of that, you looked past my ridiculous Jeep, my affinity for Old Crow, and even our family dog, Oscar. I promise to be the husband you deserve and to love you absolutely on the road through life, on the road through what I know will be a happier life than I could have ever had without you. I love you. I'll never forget the day my brother proposed, mostly because he videotaped it, but I've never seen him so happy. Kate, I couldn't be more pleased with my brother's choice.
And Chris, in all seriousness, I think you've become a great man. And even though you're my little brother, I've always looked up to you. You made smart decisions your whole life. And I think marrying Kate is just the latest one. I promise to be your best friend and partner through all the twists and turns that this life brings. I promise to love you every day from this day forward. I love you more every day and I can't wait to continue to grow and build our life together. I can now pronounce you man and wife. Kiss this beautiful bride, Christopher. Okay, Chris, here's what I ask of you. When you're sitting at the grandparents' table and your son is offering up the father of the bride discourse to his daughter and her husband, and all that are gathered to celebrate her wedding, I want your son to be able to turn to the two of you and tell his daughter that he wants her and her new husband to emulate their marriage, because it is a shining example of true love, commitment, that has stood the test of time.